Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at what to do when you can't fix your PC. As you can see here, blue screen of death happening to this PC. And what will happen is it will spontaneously reboot and you will get eventually preparing automatic repair. This is a pretty common issue. It will go through diagnosing your PC to try and resolve an issue. Then you'll get automatic repair, couldn't repair your PC. You push continue to go to either Windows 10 or Windows 11. It will start to load up and bam, again, you'll get the blue screen of death. And this will be what we call a reboot loop. And literally, you'll be stuck in this until you try to fix it. It will go through the preparing automatic repair again, try diagnosing your PC. And it's at this point you need to start thinking about repairing your computer. So you go into advanced options and you're going to start looking inside here for troubleshoot. Once you go in here, you're going to have a bunch of different options like advanced options and reset this PC. In advanced options, you're going to get an array of different options available to you to try and fix your problem. You can see here system restore. This is obviously going to allow you to use a system restore point if you have one on that computer set to restore your computer back to a time when it was working properly. You then have system image recovery. This is for restoring your PC from an image that you may have created on your PC, maybe a backup image, and you can restore from that image to a working state. Startup repair is just going to fix some problems that keeps Windows from loading, i.e. the problem you see here. Nine times out of 10, or probably 10 out of 10, startup repair is not going to fix your issue. I've never really had that fix many issues for me. Command prompt is for more advanced users. You can do a bunch of different things in here to try and fix the issue. And we've also got startup settings to change your startup setting behavior. The UEFI firmware settings is for getting into the BIOS. We also have seen more recovery options down there, but this is not going to help us resolve our problem. So we'll go ahead and click on uh, reset this PC. Now from here, we can choose keep my files. This will keep our data, but it will reinstall Windows. You will lose your applications. It will tell you exactly what you're going to lose here. So you hit the reset button and it will start the reset process. This will go ahead and start resetting the PC. The problem is you may see something like this. There was a problem resetting your PC. No changes were made. What happens is it will start the reset process and it will roll back to exactly where you was before and you end up in the same position. So you try to reset the PC again using remove everything and do a full wipe of the system using the uh, built in tool here. And during the reset process, you end up with the same problem. And this is because there's a major issue with Windows. Something's happened and something has corrupted Windows in such a way that it's making it impossible to recover using the reset this PC method. It doesn't necessarily mean you can't reinstall Windows. It just means you can't use the reset this PC method to reinstall Windows. So you do have some other options, which I'll show you in a second. So we'll go through some other scenarios in a second and talk about some of the things that people do when they're faced with an issue like this. But first, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD key cells. Now, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Head over to their website and create an account. You can do a search for Windows 10 Pro also, and you can then buy a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key. Click the buy now button and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order. This will give you a nice juicy discount of 30%. Once you've got your order set, you can submit your order and then go to activation and activate your version of Windows. So let's go back to the tutorial here. You can see that failed. So now we can go back to choose an option. Once we're back in choose an option, we can go to troubleshoot, go to advanced options again. And you can see here now we've got the, some of these options available to us. So let's try system restore. Now, if you've got system restore points, it doesn't necessarily mean your PC will restore. You may get system restore points available to you like this one here. Click restore and click finish. And what will happen 
is sometimes you end up with a failed system restore and it will start to roll back. I've even seen system restore trying to roll back and it crashes during the rollback process and then you're caught in limbo where you don't have a PC working at all because you can't roll back to the original operating system which add problems with it and you can't go forward and use system restore and this can happen. So be very careful when you're using these methods to restore your PC. So even with system restore here, you can see it says system restore finished and then sometimes what will happen is you will get an error like this one here where it can't complete and it says you can try system restore again or select a different restore point and people end up start choosing other restore points and again you can end up with a lot of failed uh, system restores so what is the option well you can try a bunch of other stuff but by now i think you're getting the idea that there's something drastically wrong with your operating system and you're wasting a ton of time so the best thing to do is create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 or Windows 11 on it and reinstall Windows via the USB flash drive method. This is probably the best way to reinstall Windows because sometimes reset this PC uh, gets broken just like you see here. Now it doesn't necessarily mean this method will work because sometimes when you're reinstalling Windows it could be that your hard drive is failing or something along those lines. We just don't know until we test. So we can test it with this method. If this method fails, then there's probably something wrong with your drive. And this is why it's so important to back up your data. So many people still don't back up their data, even in 2023. It's so easy to back up now. There's plenty of free options out there to back up your data. And if you're caught in a scenario like this and you don't have you know any backups and now you're caught in a really difficult situation where maybe your pc doesn't boot or maybe you're caught in a reboot loop and now you don't have backups you've got all your coursework on there or whatever it may be it's important that you get that data off and you should make regular backups of your data because this is quite a common occurrence and uh, it doesn't mean that windows can't break and you have to then reinstall it there comes a point in time where trying to fix Windows is not fixable and you will need to reinstall Windows at some point. Uh, so people always think there's always a solution out there and it's not always the case. Sometimes you will need to do a clean install like we're doing here to try and resolve the issue. Now you can try a bunch of other things like SFC scan now and a bunch of DISM commands to try and fix and rectify the issue. I did try some of these on this machine and none of them worked. So now we're having to do a full install via USB flash drive to get Windows reinstalled on this system. Now, once this is done, hopefully we'll be back up and running. It doesn't necessarily mean your drive is functioning properly. I've seen this issue happen quite a few times where the drive is failing and you can end up having issues like this. Now, I've seen people coming onto Discord asking for help with situations just like this one, and it turns out their drive has got bad sectors on it. The drive is failing and they know the drive has bad sectors on it and yet they continue to use that drive and this is what happens when you try to use a drive with tons of bad sectors on them. And yes, you can sometimes use a drive with the odd one or two bad sectors on there and you can mark these to make them be ignored uh, and they won't be read at all. But at the end of the day, it just means the drive is coming to the end of its life. Once you start getting tons of bad sectors, I've seen people coming on with like two or 300 bad sectors on a drive and they're still trying to use it. I mean, there's going to come a point where that drive will fail and you will lose all the data on that drive. So bear that in mind. Now, of course, we're in the era now of SSD and NVMe drives, which have no moving parts, but it doesn't mean they can't fail either. They do fail, and uh, you just have to be very, very careful and keep regular backups of all your data. Now, the two parts to remember with SSDs or NVMe drives is the TBW, which means total bytes written. This refers to the total amount of data written to an SSD over its designed life. MTBF is mean time between failures, and this is a reference to the amount of hours be for that drive and how long it's going to last in hours. Now, these are the two important parts. Now, most manufacturers of 
SSDs and NVMe drives will give you a piece of software which you can download and check the health of the drive and this will give you an idea of whether your drive is in full working order and whether it's in good state of health and this software is very useful for early warning signs of a drive failure especially things like SSDs or an NVMe drive uh, it's this will give you all of the amount of information that you need it can also tell you useful information about the drive which is for the total man of reads and writes to the drive and this is what we was talking about earlier which is like terabytes written and if you've got a really low end sort of SSD and you're doing a lot of hardcore editing and video editing and things like that it's going to create a lot of writes to the drive and put a lot of stress on the drive that's why they have certain drives for certain types of uh, jobs that you do so if you're a heavy hardcore uh, game or, or video editing then you need to get the appropriate drive now if you're a pc repair tech and you're going through this same procedure where you're going through a bunch of fixes trying to fix an issue there's going to come a point where you need to evaluate the situation and make a decision and reinstall windows and save you time because if it's taking multiple hours to do a job and you end up reinstalling windows via usb anyway you're just wasting your time and it's poor time management anyway but that said i think that's going to be about it for this one my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat thanks again for watching have a lovely weekend bye for now